So it's not perfect level. It's a little bit high on this side here, but it is at least consistent and it's level with relation to the top of the table, which is the more important part. And actually to uh, set up this way now, I can even drive it from just one side and it still rolls smoothly and doesn't lock up. So I am pretty happy with that. Now the uh, ticket to make this thing work was like I said in the end of the last video. I uh, tacked those standoffs in place, the whole thing apart, welded those, ground the uh, inside weld here, would otherwise be hitting the truss. And then before I bolted it all back together, I made sure to level out the feet. Because those two there uh, were low, so I lifted them up and got this side and that side both level uh, and at roughly the same height as each other. And then I bolted in the trusses, coming in with the uh, hammer and the tappy tap tap to get them all square again as I went and you know did each bolt in succession. So doing that got it both square and rigid at the same time. With the table base taken care of, the next step was to install the x-axes and the carriage rollers. As I said on one of the earlier videos, there's a whole bunch of different guys selling things like this on eBay. So just go on there and take your pick. Now, the ones I got came with really shitty instructions. So I'll describe how I set these up, but your mileage may vary depending on the style of what you've got and if they maybe had, you know, real instructions with them. And in fact, when the uh, whole build here is said and done, I might even design and begin to sell my own style of carriage rollers. Uh, that way, if you're watching the videos here and you like the content and you want to keep me some business as a way of saying thank you, you know, I won't say no. So if that's the case, uh, look below for a link and see if I actually do that or not. And in either case still, you know, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Anyway, uh, with installing these guys, one thing you got to make sure you do is get these carriage bolts in here upside down before the rest of it goes together. If you install the skateboard bearings before you put those bolts in, then you won't be able to bolt down the uh, tab here for the uh, y-axis. So, uh, got one more here I can show you on. Uh, these two square slots here are for those carriage bolts that stick up. And then the y-axis goes across. So there's not enough clearance there to get that carriage bolt installed uh, once everything else is in place. So put them on first and then begin with the uh, carriage bolts, the... Uh, um, What's that called? Flange nut, and the regular nut, the uh, skateboard bearing, the lock washer, and the regular nut. Now, uh, these skateboard bearings are not, you know, not the most precise, and they're rolling on hot rolled steel, which is also not that precise. So your leveling here isn't super crucial, but you want to make sure it's not like cockeyed all the way this way or that way. That would just be sloppy and, you know, lead to other things racking up later on. So, took a little square, and just put that on there, and got it, you know, roughly level. And I started with these two here in the corners. Um, because they're simple, just have them uh, the very top of their slot range and tighten them down. And the next one to get would be that one down there. And that really was crucial for keeping the whole thing from wobbling back and forth that way. After that, I came in on these two, and then this one, and then lastly, these two out there. And basically, as I did each one, I would roll the thing back and forth a little ways and make sure that the uh, skateboard bearings were actually engaging. Uh, throughout this whole process, too, I had the uh, socket cap screws here installed with the uh, nuts in the bottom, just loosely to keep this thing from actually falling off the table. As for how stiff these rollers should be, you know, the uh, instructions didn't say. But I made them pretty stiff. Uh, I can still move them with one finger, but there is some resistance to it. And I figure it's better to have the motors work to overcome that resistance than to have the whole thing just loose and flopping around. So they're done, and I put the uh, X axis here in the middle of their slot range, still with the uh, nuts loose, and the Y tabs in the middle of their slot range. That way, when the actual gantries cut the length and welded in place, I'd have the maximum amount of adjustability left in the system. From there, it was really a case of uh, precision eyeballing, being like, is this rail here roughly length the table, that rail there roughly length the table, and is the actual gantry, you know, roughly square to them as well. Kind of tough using a big uh, carpenter square when things aren't actually all in the same plane. But, you know, if you make some mistakes, 
The reason for having all these bolts is you can make up for it later on in the process, right? So I uh, laid this out as best I could, marked this in the length and cut it a little bit shorter than the actual gap. That way I had room for a weld bead here and another weld bead on this side too. So cut the length, put it back, once again, precision eyeballing, and then tacked it in place while it was actually here on the table. Then I undid these bolts, uh, pulled it off, did the rest of the welds, ground down anywhere where it would uh, interfere with the carriage roller, and then put it back. Then I just rolled the whole gantry back and forth a few times and both of the x-axis down where they stayed. <laughs> and the results are pretty good. I mean, we'll see how well it cuts when it's actually done, but it is pretty level. It does slide pretty smoothly. There's a, a bit of a gap here at the end where it uh, hits on that side first, but I can live with that. You know, that could just be the standoffs not being welded perfectly in line, and you know, what do you do? And uh, with the feet properly shimmed and the table leveled out, I actually don't need any shims at all to uh, get these rails to line up with each other. So <laughs> I'm going to call this battle one and move forward with the build. I think the next steps will be to do the uh, crossbars that will eventually support the water table and then get the uh, Z-axis here actually mounted onto its carriage roller onto the gantry itself. And then it'll be time for the belts, motors, and wiring. Cool.